Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine. Good. Fine. Very well. Very well. Excellent. Good. Doing good. Good evening, already... teacher. Good evening. I already drank my tea, so I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. Now, we are going to start. We only have three people. We have Concepcion, Alexis, and Carmen, right? We're going to wait for the others two minutes, right? And then we start with the class, okay? Le vamos a dar dos minutos a todos para que se unan a la clase. Let's wait for them then. Okay, I think we should start, right? We have, wait for everybody. And let's do this class for today. Today we are in video conference number 14. Right? Video conference number 14. And we're going to talk about simple present, right? With WH questions as well. That's what we're going to do. Let me show you my computer. Can you see my computer there? Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Now, well, what are we having here? We're gonna work with Video conference number 14, simple present for temporary situations. And we are going to start with a practice, okay? But we, when we do this practice, right, we are going to work with Ryan and Raul, right? Ryan and Raul, and we're going to use this conversation. If you see, it's a long conversation, so I need you to pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? I will go slow, right? So you can listen to me. And then we are going to role play the conversation. So let me start. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do 
is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, that is the pronunciation for this. Now, I want you to look at the conversation and tell me, please, if you see there, phrases or sentences in present progressive. Okay, we are going to pay attention to the following. These are the activities that we're going to do. Aquí le voy a poner lo que vamos a hacer con la conversación. Right? Aparte de practicarla, right? First, number one, listen and practice, of course. Number two, underline the sentences in present progressive. Okay. And number three, on circle the sentences in simple present. In simple present. That's what we're going to do. We are going to do three things with this activity. Right? Estas son nuestros tasks. Lo que vamos a hacer. Right? Number one, listen and practice. Number two. Underline the sentences in present progressive. And number three, steer for the sentences in simple present. Okay, ya tenemos la conversación ahí. Primero la practicamos, luego subrayamos, underline the sentences in present progressive. And then we steer for the sentences in simple present. Okay, that's what we're going to do. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a realizar con, la, con esta conversación? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very well. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. So please mm -hmm. take a screenshot so you, you remember the task o, o apuntan los tres tasks que vamos a hacer, las tres actividades, so we can start working. We're going, of course, we need to practice, right? We need to speak. So we're going to do that in pairs, right? Vamos a trabajar en pareja. ¿Estamos listos? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, very well. Yeah. Now, could let's you, just start. Sorry, teacher, could you please, a uh, few seconds only. Ah. Uh, ah. Se me fue y ya se quitó el, el, el. Only the conversation. No, only, only the conversation. conversation. I okay. understand another. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Carmen. And I'm sorry. <laughs> now. Let's go ahead and practice right now. We have two, four, five people, right? We're going, I am going to put you in pairs in one triad, right here. To practice. Okay, very well. Now, please. Se está conectando Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. We are going to practice right now a conversation, Sandra. Right? So please, we're going to work in pairs right now. All right. So let's get together. One second. Okay, now select your groups, please. Select your groups. Pedrina, hello. Hello, teacher. Astalia, hello. Okay, you are going to stay here with Astalia and you're going to practice a conversation that we need to practice right now, okay? Let me show you the conversation. 
Okay, this is the conversation we are going to practice. Pedrina and Azalia. Okay. Okay, in this conversation, we are going to underline the present progressive sentences. Primero, vamos a subrayarla. Primero, después de practicarla y después de, de practicar con Azalia, vamos a subrayar todas las oraciones o preguntas que tengan present progressive. Okay. Luego, okay. Okay. vamos a circular aquellas oraciones o preguntas que estén en simple present. Is that clear? Ok. Ok. okay. Very good. Y esta, esta, esta eh, conversación la tienen en su libro. Ok. okay. We're okay. going to start right now. Los demás están en un breakout room, por eso es que no los ven acá. Y si ustedes como entran tardecito, ya no las pude meter. Ok. Se van a quedar acá un rato. Okay. okay. I see you in a moment. I will go to the rooms. O oh, dígame a Sally si tiene alguna pregunta. A Sally. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Good evening. Sorry. Estaba cenando, lo siento. Terminando. Medio. Este, según el diálogo eh, que dice ahí, alcancé a escuchar que dijo... Mm. Eh, que hay que practicar. Yes, we need to practice luego, a conversation. Ajá. Luego sacar los, los tiempos. We're going to, yes, we're going to underline the present progressive and circle the simple present. Progressive and present. Okay. Exactly. ¿Qué página es? We're going to work on page 30 something. Déjeme ver acá. Ya le digo. We are in unit three. So it's going to be in, give me one second. Permítame que me cargue el libro. Como no lo veo ahí, no, no puedo identificarlo. El mío no tiene número en la página, pero ya lo hallé. ¿No tiene número? No, no me le salió el número cuando lo imprimí. <laughs> It's on page. And Peter and Raúl, no, 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 no. Ya le digo, sale. It's on page 31. Page 31. Okay. Ryan y Raúl, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Eh, vamos a practicar con, con Pedrina o encontramos primero los. No, first you practice with Pedrina, Salia. And with Gabriela. Hi, Gabriela. Hi, teacher. Voy entrando y no sé, creo que caía un grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, <laughs> sí, estamos en la sesión principal porque los demás están en grupo, sí. Right, okay. En este caso, Gabriela va a trabajar eh, con Asali y con Pedrina. With the conversation on page 31, okay. okay. You are going to practice the conversation with them. You are going to underline present progressive and circle the sentences in simple present, okay? But subrayar las oraciones o preguntas que estén en presente progresivo y va a circular aquellas eh, preguntas u oraciones que estén en, en el presente simple, okay? Ok, teacher, ¿y eso en el, en el libro? Sí, en el libro lo puede hacer. ¿Tiene el libro impreso? Lo puede hacer en el libro. No, no, lo tengo, lo tengo online. Ah, pues le va a tocar anotar. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, I see you in a moment. I will go with the others right now. Hello, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, respecto a... a... Donde dice usually get, ese es presente simple. Yeah, usually, because it has simple present 
And in simple present, we use usually most of the time. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Luego, la que sería es, I usually arrive, arrive. At, arrive at 6, 6.30 a.m. Uh -huh. Ah, pero ahí because, sigue, ¿verdad? Sí, picante. Es que lo que pasa es que, como le digo, no me sale ahí completa la página. Pero no sé si mm. puede acceder al libro, porque abajo <coughs> dice, my Free activity is to pick up the leader. Leader. Entonces me voy a salir porque tengo que ir a ver el libro. ¿Qué es así? Repasándolo. Practicing the conversation. Okay. Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sí, Sandrita. Pero, yes. Ajá, lo que pasa es que en la pantalla no me salió completa. Entonces por eso estamos viendo lo del final que ya le tocaba. Ah, porque no le sale la libro. pantalla completa. Porque, Página 31. Ah, porque salían no, no, los, que... los, los pilotos de abajo de, de, de aquí de la PC. Entonces me salía ah. a reproducir audio y video y todo eso. Entonces avánzale ahí. Lo, lo, lo corté. Es ya, estoy, ya estoy aprendiendo, dice, a manipular esto. Ahí okay. sí, una moment, then, okay. Yes. Cierto, cierto. Ajá, ajá. Eso. The first is, what are you doing right now? This Ajá. is present progressive. Ya estamos juntas, teacher. Okay, questions? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am, I am you know, planning. A I am planning. Program. Yes. It's a present progressive, too. Yes, yes. And luego sería... Um, what is you or team do, doing right now? Uh, what is our team doing right now? Right now, right, right now. now, in this uh -huh. moment, is a present progressive. It's, I mean. it's present uh -huh. progressive. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y luego la yes, it they is are they getting. are getting. Yes. Y solamente esa de present progressive. ¿Valida? Ah. Ok, let me see. En círculo sería la... Simple present. Ajá. Vamos a ver. What time do you... Ah, well, what time do you usually get to your workplace? Esa es simple present. What time? Yes. Do you usually. Usually. Eh? Ajá. Sí, what time do you present. usually get to to work? Like, okay, y también, ajá, uh -huh. mm -hmm. y también la de I usually arrive. Yeah. Arrive, ajá. Uh -huh. What, are, what you are you doing? Doing right, right now. now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Bye. Doing, la otra. Bye. Doing. Doing. Not doing. Right. Es con doing. Sí, no quiero que me digan doing, 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 doing. Esa palabra la decimos right todos now. los días, doing. Good doing. afternoon, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference which they now ten in San Salvador. What is your Thing doing right now. Doing. doing, doing right now. Doing right now. Oh, the conference. Wait, the new thing in San Salvador. In San Salvador. In San Salvador. Yes. In San Salvador. It, yes, it is. They are getting real for the conference in their meeting room. Yes, it is. They are getting 
ready for the conference in the meeting room. In the meeting room, okay. I see what time do you usually get to your work place? What, what the first thing do you? I see what time do you usually get, get to your, work, your workplace? What the first thing you do? Well, I arrive at seven or Yo estoy repitiendo lo que usted dice, Pedrín. Sí. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I usually. Ah, I usually. I usually arrive at arrive six, arrive at six sixteen p.m. and the first thing I do is to check my name. I do. I usually arrive at six. 3 0 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Where are I at 7 or 7 3? It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Well, I arrive at seven zero zero or seven three zero. It depends on traffic. I may feel activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Ian. Okay. Uh, oh. Pedrina, let's wait. We're going to is, uh, expecting. We're expecting everyone right now. So ya viene. Okay. okay. So we can practice. And before we do that, right, we are going to call the attendance. Vamos a pasar la asistencia acá. Okay. Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayo. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portil. Present. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present, teacher. Silvia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jové. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Roxana Yanira, thank you. Roxana Yanira Mengibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Okay. Now we are going to listen first to some of the conversations that you practice. I need two volunteers. Hi, teacher. Okay, Alexis. Who was your partner, Alexis? Eh, Sandrita. Okay, very good. We're going mm, to listen. No, yo no lo tengo, teacher. I am Uf. going to put it here. Can you see the screen? Sandra? Okay. Sí, pero, okay. Sí, pero, pero no, lo, no lo he subrayado porque no lo tengo. En... No, but right now we are going to practice the conversation. Okay? Okay. Okay, yes. now you are going to be Ryan. And Alexis is going to be Raul. Okay, okay. Uh, good afternoon, afternoon, Raul. 
what, uh, what are you doing right, right now? Good afternoon, right. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, they conference why the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, Ooh. it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to go work? Right. What uh, day free time you do? I usually arrive at 7.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, I ready at 7 or 17. It depends on traffic. My free activity is to pick up day later. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent job. Right here, we are going to practice. Remember to, to, to practice more the pronunciation, okay? Pick up, for example. My first activity is to pick up the letters. My yeah. first activity is to pick up the letters. The letters. The, the letters. letters. The letters. 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 Porque letters sí. es otra cosa. Sí, letters. Sí, conjunto, letters. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you, Sandrita and Thank you. Alexis. Good job. Let's listen to other two people, please. I want two other volunteers, two volunteers more. Teacher. Okay, teacher. Angie, and, Angie and Carmen, and then Gabriela. Okay, Angie and Carmen, you decide. Okay, uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you do, doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in the San Salvador. What is your team team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. You. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing do you? I usually mm -hmm. arrive at six thirty a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my mail. And you? Well, I arrive at 8 or 8.30 in Depend on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Hey, okay, very good, very good. I arrive. Repeat, Angie. I arrive. I arrive. I arrive at 7. I arrive at seven. At seven. At seven. Very good. Letters. 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 Very good. Thank, Thank you, you very teacher. much. Very good. Letters. Now I need two other people. Ana Gabriela, you said you raise your hand. Who wants to practice with Ana Gabriela? Yo estaba con Pedrina y Azalia. Azalia. Okay. Who is going to participate with uh, with Ana Gabriela, Azalia or Pedrina? Azalia, thank you. Very good. Okay. Ana Gabriela, you are Ryan. Azalia, you are Raul. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is your, what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first things do you, you do? I usually arrive at 6, 3 a.m. 
And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at seven or 7.30, it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, very nice, Gabriela. Very good job, uh, Asalia. Now I would like to listen, please, to the people who identify the sentences in present progressive and the sentences in simple past, okay? Now, I want you to tell me your phrases. I will be annotating here. First, we are going to do present progressive, okay? Present progressive. Tell me the first sentence you found, Sandra. What? Tell me the sentence or question you found with present progressive. What are you doing? Okay, what are well, you doing? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? Well, Just one, only one. What are you doing okay. right now? I Repeat, know. what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Excellent, Arvita. very good. Now, Pedrina, tell me another sentence in present progressive. Pedrina? Ahorita. Yes. What is your team doing right now? What is our team doing right now? Very good. What is our team? Is your team doing. Doing. Doing right doing now. Right now. Okay. Sin es al final, Pedrina. Doing. R doing. Okay. Right now. Right now. Okay. Nice job. Concepción. Tell me another sentence in present progressive, please. They are getting, getting ready for the conference. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Yes. Okay, read the sentence, repeat with me. They are getting ready for they the conference in the meeting room. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Excellent job. Very good. Josue, is there any other sentence in present progressive? Does it? No. No more? Ya no hay más? Sí. Sí hay. Yeah. Okay, Asalia, what's the other? Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, I am planning a video conference. Okay. Repeat with me, Asalia. Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, I am planning a video conference. Good job. Now, we are going to circle, we're going to circle the sentences we find with simple present. Let's start with you, uh, <laughs> Carmen. <clears throat> What time do you usually get to your workplace? Very good, thank you so much. This is going, I am going to underline it. Yo la voy a subrayar porque no voy a poderla, no voy a, no se va a ver bien acá en círculo, okay? Sí. I am, what time do you usually get to your workplace? Okay, very good. Miren, aquí le falta un signo de interrogación. Ustedes pónganselo ahí, por favor, todos. What time do you usually get to your workplace? Okay, perfect. What's another question you have there in simple present, uh, Gabriela? I, I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. Very well. Alexis, what's another sentence in simple present? Hey teacher, um, I I ready at seven or seven three. I arrive at I seven arrive. or seven thirty. Listen. Uh, I listen, arrive. Listen. Listen. 
I arrive at 7 or 7.30. Repeat. I arrive at 7 or 7, 3? 7.30. 7.30. Very well. Very good. Now we, that's the other sentence. Leida, what's the next sentence? Mm. There are two more people. I don't mas. There are two more. Celia, what do you have? Leida? Josué? No, solo esas tenía. Ah, yo no sé, saqué esas. <laughs> My first activity is to pick, pick up the letter. Mm -hmm. No, it's not simple present. Mm -hmm. Because well, it's with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. I don't, is you checking me, Amy, and you? What's the first thing you do? What's the first thing you do? What's the what is the first thing you do? No, that's a present progressive. What is? Okay. What I is? Do to check my email. The first thing I do is to check my email. Very well. The first thing hey, I do. Okay. And then there's another one. My first activity. The last one. Uh huh. That is that is a present a verb to be. But look at this one. It depends. It depends. It depends, it depends. It depends on traffic. El traffic is San Salvador. Hermoso. La Constitución. Oh, it depends on traffic, right? Very good. You did it. Beautiful. Let's say some more. Okay. Good. Tenemos los ejemplos. Very nice. You identify the sentence very well. Let's teacher, and the, teacher and the last one, my first activity is to pick up the letters. That is a, an activity also, but it's with the with uh, with the verb to be. With the verb to be. So we don't use it because it's not an action verb. Right? In simple present, we use action verbs. And the verb to be is a linking verb. Okay, good. Good question. Please take a screenshot or just check on your notebook. Este porque depends on traffic is uh, is present. De, yes. Present. Because it's something is is a habit. It's a routine. It depends on traffic, right? Now we have a verb, right? The verb is depend, right? and we can use it in simple present. Y nos expresa una rutina del tráfico. It depends on traffic. Okay. That's why, yes, that's why it's simple present. Good okay. question, Sandrita. Very good. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's stop sharing here. And we continue with the next activity. Okay. Now, we are going to read an article. Okay, today is a day of practice. We are going to read an article. This article is on page 34, right? It's an article about organized, no, it says four things, okay? First, organize, organize yoga classes. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Number three, paintball. Number four, guess who, okay? So we have four, Four things that we're going to read. After that, after that, in our book, after this reading, where is the reading? Jesus, where is the reading? Okay, we have the reading here. After the reading, we have some questions with true and false, okay? So first, we are going to read. First, we are going to read. Second, we are going to decide. Yoga has an important effect on employees. True or false? Based on the reading, okay? Based on the reading. So we have four things that we're going to do. Four articles, and then we're going to decide 
if this is true or false, okay? Now, is it clear what we're going to do? This is on page 34, page 34. Page 34. We are going to do this activity individually. Thank you, Salia. <laughs> Now, we're going to do this activity individually. Vamos a leer de forma individual para ver nuestra comprensión lectora, okay? You see, reading comprehension. Let's just start. We're going to have a couple of minutes to read and then to answer, and then we compare. Recuérdense que no van a entender el 100% de la lectura, así que no se preocupen. Let me see if you have a question. Remember that we also have the chat. Tenemos el chat si tienen alguna pregunta. Okay, si no la quieren decir, la pueden mandar al chat. No hay problema. Underestimate, Alex. Underestimate. 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 Okay, okay. Finish, Carmen. Did you finish the true and false? Yes. Teacher. Okay. Very well.
We're going to have two more minutes only. We should be answering right now the uh, question, the true and false, okay? The true and false. Celia, ready? Okay. Asalia, ready? Okay. Angie? Todavía me falta. Okay, not yet. Not yet. Todavía me falta, vamos a decir not yet. Okay? Not yet. Ahí le pongo. En el, en el chat. Not yet. Luis Armando, are you, you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Pedrina, are you ready? Check. Not yet. Good, Pedrina, excellent. Concepcion, are you ready? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Uh, Leida, are we ready? Leida, Susana, Corto Cuadra? Not yet. Yes, okay. Let's wait a little bit more. Sandrita, Gabriela, Josué? No yet. No yet? No yet. No yet. Josué? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, very well. Okay, two more minutes so we can start working. Hi, Daniel Amilka. Hi, teacher. We are working on this reading on page 34. Okay, page 34. 24, okay. Yes, 34. Yes. Now, I am going to start right now. I think you have had enough time. Creo que tenemos tiempo suficiente. Right, and my first question is going to be very easy, okay? We have here the reading. Okay. This one bigger. Okay. Can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very well. Inside. Okay. Yes. Inside. 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 ¿Qué significa inside? Is that what your question? ¿Qué significa inside? Inside, like this. Así como está en el chat. No lo veo porque estoy viendo el libro. No lo veo. Okay, if it's inside, it means adentro. Adentro. Inside, adentro. inside ah, okay. means adentro. Okay. okay. Yes, Carmen? Thank you. No, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, we have 
this reading, we are going to read right now out loud, right? Ya leyeron ustedes solitos. Ahora vamos a leer out loud. For number one, I need Josué. For number two, I need Carmen. For number three, I need Celia. And for number four, I need Angie. Okay? Okay. Please put your pens down. Pongan ya los lapiceros donde tienen que poner. Let's pay attention. Okay? And let's start. Number one, Josué. Read, teacher. Yes. Uh, number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day, don't underestimate any impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate uh, stress, cal calm the mind, release tens tension, improve brain to function and live more. What both world when those outcomes? Okay, very good. Thank you so much, uh, Josue. Right, thank you so much. Now, number two. After that, we're going to check pronunciation, okay? Number two, celebrate birthday. Okay, celebrate birthday. You don't, you don't just have to rely on business game to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasion can have a big impact. It, show, it shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have a cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Okay, very good. Very good, Carmen. Let's see number three, Celia. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some staying be organizing a day, a day of Bible. Simply get it out of the office, can work, water, for start more moralis. Watch, yeah. watch out tone as the boss. You are going to be a prime tiger. Target, okay, target. Very good, Celia. And number four, guess who? Yo. Uh, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a shield, hold a photo of themselves, and put them all up on a wall, and then get everyone to put their best guests forward on each one. It is a bit of a a light hearty form that we definitely help live spirit while offering plenty of humor along the way. way. Along the way. Very good. Very good. Now we have four activities that we can do in our workplace, right? Now let's check on pronunciation for some of the words that I want you to practice with me, okay? Now we have these words here. Alleviate stress. Alleviate the stress. Calm the mind. Calm the mind. Calm the mind. Release tension. Release, Release tension. tension. Improve brain function. In brain function. And live, live, 
Lift move. move. Lift move. Very good. Very good. Those are difficult words, okay? Those are difficult words, right? Now, we're going to practice this. Boost morale. Boost morale. Boost morale. Okay, morale. piensa bien. Lift and boost significa lo mismo en este, en este reading, en este artículo. Lift move es levantarles el ánimo. Boost morale es levantarles la moral. Okay? Lift and move and boost are synonyms. Son synonyms. Okay. Y son totalmente distintos. Very good. Acknowledging special occasions. Acknowledging special occasions. Okay. One more time. Listen. Acknowledging special occasions. Acknowledging special occasions. Okay. Es como, okay, hay un compañero. Hay que considerar el compañero. Okay. Acknowledging significa tomar en cuenta, okay? Tomar en cuenta, mm -hmm. acknowledging. Acknowledging, special occasion. Occasions, very good. Now let's go ahead and go to here. Let off some esteem. Let, let off some, some esteem. Let off some esteem, it will be like some release esteem. tension. Release tension. Let off release some steam. Let off let off some steam. steam. It's connected. Okay. Left off. Uh, getting out of the office. Getting, getting out, out of, out of, of, of the, office. the office. Okay. Look at this. Can work wonders for staff morally. Now, let me show you something. Morali or moral? Morali. Morali. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and see. Uh, okay. Let's see. Lift the spirit. Lift the spirit. Lift the, lift, the lift the spirit is the same as lift mood. Levantar el ánimo, levantar el espíritu. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Offering plenty of humor along the way. Offering plenty of humor along the way. Along the way. Very good. Along the way. Now, those are phrases that are phrases directly from the U.S., okay? Son frases que las podemos ocupar, ¿verdad? Anótenlas, so you can have more vocabulary, right? Underline, underline. Now, do we understand the, do we understand the reading, guys? ¿Entendemos de qué se trata la lectura? Yes, teacher. So, so. Okay, yes, very so good, so. Carmen. They okay. are like a tip for, uh, to do a best environment. In the office. Exactly, very good. They are like tips to have a better environment in the office. Exactly, very good. Not to be in the office like, oh, I hate everyone, right? But to be like, oh, I love everyone, okay? To have a good environment. Some tips or some um, uh, tips or consejos para que un lugar de trabajo esté más con un ambiente relajado, un ambiente bueno. Okay, that, those are tips that they are given. Okay, now I want you to help me with the questions, okay? Because we have some questions in the book that I want you to share with me. Let me put them here. We have some questions, right? Now, with these questions we have, right? It says number one, Sandra. What do you have in number one? True. True. Okay, can you please read the statement True. and tell me the answer? Read it and tell me the answer. Yoga has, yoga has, an, important yoga has an important effect, effect on mm -hmm. employees. Yoga has an True. important effect on employees. True. 
Ok, yo le voy a hacer caso. Very good. Yoga has an important effect on employee. Very nice. What is next? Here, number two, Concepción. Concepción. Hi, teacher. Yoga relaxes tension, but it doesn't calm the mood. Okay. Yoga releases tension. Uh, right? It releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Is that true or false? It is false. False. Okay. Ahorita no sabemos, se lo estamos marcando. Okay, false. Repeat the sentence with me, Concepción. Yoga releases tension. Yoga releases, releases tension. Releases. Releases tension. Tension. But. But. It doesn't calm the mind. It doesn't calm the mind. Very good. Very good. Number three, Leida. Based on the rating, special occasion are not important. Okay, very good. Is it yes. true or false? True. True, okay. Repeat with me, Leida. Based on the reading. Based on the reading. Special occasions are not important. Special occasions are not important. Excellent, Leida, very good. Asalia, number four. Asalia, Melanie, where are Workers. Workers can play paintball inside the office. It's true or false? False. False. False, okay. And now, number five, Alex. Number five. Um. Children, uh, what can often employ you? Uh, false. 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 Okay, repeat with me. Uh, Alexis? Yes. Childhood photos can offend employees. Childhood photos. Childhood photos can offend employees. Childhood photos can offend employers. Okay, one more time. Childhood. Childhood. Child. Child. Childhood. Childhood. Photos. Photos. Can offend. Can offend. Employees. Employees. Childhood photos can offend employees. Childhood photos can offend employees. Okay, we need to practice. Very good, very good. Now, are these answers correct or or are not correct? Do we need to change something? Tenemos que cambiar algo, dígame, or do you have this? Yes, teacher, we have to change the second. Second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, no, the third one. Third, the third one. one, yes. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. Okay? This is false. Then it's false. Okay. False. Very false. good. What about number yes. number one? Two. Number two. What happens with number two? Two. True. Uh -huh. It's true. It's true. Yoga yes. releases tension and it calms the mind. Okay, good. Right. Very good. Workers can play inside the office. 
true or false? False. 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 That is correct. False. Childhood photos can offend employees. Uh, true. True. According false. to the reading. The further <laughs> reading. I think I do that. False. False is correct. Because according to the reading, de acuerdo al reading, de acuerdo a la lectura, va a ser gracioso, ¿verdad? Pero yo creo que podría ofender. Pero de acuerdo al reading, no. Ok. Ok, very good. Do we have the answers? Yes, eh, Carmen. But the number two is false. Because, number two is false. Yes, Why? Because, the, because the reading said yoga can help a alleviate the stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and live smooth. Okay, it calms the mind, right? Calm. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But he says it doesn't calm the mind. Okay, so it will be? Oh. Uh -huh. It's false. It calms the mind. It calms the mind. Very good. We have the answers through False, 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 and false. Right? Yoga it has an important. Open, teacher. Open. 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 Would you like some water? Offering, offering. Offering, offering. Exactly. Very good. And that is offering. Very good. Very good. So we complete the reading. All right. Questions about the reading? No? Let's continue. Let's continue with our class. But first, it's 9 07, so I will call the attendance one more time. Okay. Vamos a ver la asistencia. Un momento, por favor, encienda sus cámaras. Turn on your cameras. I'll go here with Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Carmen Lisset Hernández Present, Escobar. Present. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Thank you, Daniel. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, Mar teacher. Present. María Concepción Serón Jovel. Present, teacher. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Mengiva. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. And, thank you. And Jennifer Abidaí López Escort. Okay. Now we have there the Jennifer. Jennifer. Let's continue with our next activity after the reading. I am going to show you something, right, that you already know. Eso ya lo saben, pero quiero que me recuerden ustedes de qué se trata. Okay? We have WH questions, right? We have WH questions. WH questions, when are we going to use WH questions? ¿Cuándo usamos las... WH form. When we want to make a question. Okay, very good. What kind of questions do we want to make? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son estas? ¿Dónde? ¿Con quién? No, eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué tipo de preguntas? No, ¿qué vamos a, ¿cómo la vamos a usar todavía? Okay, 
We call them WH questions are called information questions, okay? Mm -hmm. These are information questions. Remember that. Information questions. So it means, right, that people are going to give us more information when we ask them, okay? We have also just no questions. Are you a student? Yes. Are you single? No. Do you live in San Salvador? No. Do you live in San Miguel? Yes. Right? But these questions, are different. They will. They are open questions, so they give us more information. Okay, so we call them information questions. Right? WH questions are information questions. Now, Salita was saying that we can use who, what, when, which, where, how, and why. What is the? What am I asking if I use who? What do I need to know? ¿Qué quiero saber si uso who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién lo está haciendo? Okay, in English? Who? Mm -hmm. What is the answer that I am expecting? Who is the... No, don't give me an example. Tell me, for example, with who? I am asking for is... people. I am asking for people. When I use who, I am asking for people. What if I am using what? What do I want to know? ¿Qué, qué quiero saber si utilizo what? What? Action or? Situation. A situation. What is Very great. good. A situation. A situation or a thing. Right, or something, right? Very good. What if I'm asking when? Tell me in English. Tiempo, time, time. Time, 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 period of time. Period of time, okay? Now tell me when I'm asking for which? Which? Which, which color, which color do you prefer? Which color do you prefer? Green or pink? Uh, options. 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 Options, very good. Options. Okay, options. I am giving options, very good. Where? Place. Place. Location or place? place. Location. Place, very good. How? Activities. Huh? Activities. Yeah, all of them are for activities. Good, good, good. But how? Uh, process. Process, yes, very good. Okay, it's a process, very good. It is also a manner. Process, for example, um, how, how do you turn on your cell phone? How do you turn on your cell phone? Manner, how are you? How are you? And why? What am I asking when I say why? Reasons. Reasons, very good reasons and we use because right now please copy this part because we are going to use it right now okay vamos a utilizar los establish question please copy the information o tomen un screenshot como usted le salga mejor significa reason teacher reasons razones Thank you. 
Okay, can I continue? Can I continue? ¿Puedo yes, continuar? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very well. Now, what are we going to do here with the WH questions? What we're going to do is that we are going to ask, we're going to use WH questions with simple present. We're going to use it with the verb with ing. According to the book right now, on page, go to page, I, let me see, sorry. Go to page 36, page 36. Okay. On page 36 on your book, you are going to see these WH questions, right? Ya la sabemos. We already know these questions. It says here, we have the structure of the WH word, right? Plus B, plus subject, plus verb with ING, plus complement. So we are going to use questions to ask for a specific information using the present progressive, okay? Using the present progressive. So, what are we going to do, right? We are going to practice right now here with one specific thing, okay? Tell me, we're going to put the questions here. Tell me the questions, Angie. What? <clears throat> what I, what I, no, tell me the type of questions, what? What's the other? Otra, otra. Um, where? Where? Tell me other one, Natalia. Quick, quick, quick. Which? Which? Okay. Which? Gabriel. Why? Why? Very good. Why? Carmen. How? 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 Very good. Let's continue here. Sandra. When? When. Very good. When. Okay. These are the questions that we're going to use, right? What? Where, which, oh, we're missing one more. Tell me the one that we're missing. Who? 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 Excellent. Who? Right? Who? Now, what are we going to do? I need you to tell me one verb that we can use in present progressive. Un verbo que podemos usar en present progressive. Un verbo que ustedes sepan, que ustedes les guste. Tell me a verb. Read. Read. Okay, read. We Run. Read. Okay, only one, only one. We're going to use read right now in present progressive, right? The pronunciation is going to be reading. Reading. Reading, okay? That's the pronunciation. I'm gonna put it here. Now, what is the book telling us? The book is telling us the formula that we are going to use. What is the formula? The WH word, right? Plus, plus B. Plus B. Uh -huh. Plus. Subject. Subject. Plus. Verb ing. ing. Verb with ing form. Uh -huh. Plus. Complement. Complement. Complement, very good, plus the complement, very good. And we have the question mark. This is the formula, right? This is what we're going to use. Now, we have the questions here. We're gonna make a space for each one. Okay, let's see if we can use all of these questions with the verb read, okay? Now, 
We're going to make the first question with what, and we're going to use the verb read, okay? What is going to be the first one? I am going to do the first one, and you are going to help me with the other one. Number one, what are you reading right now? What are you reading right now? What are you reading right now? This is my first question, okay? What are you reading right now? Es una pregunta, estoy utilizando what, estoy utilizando el verbo que ustedes me dieron, and in present progressive, okay? Now, tell me a sentence with where. Siempre usando el mismo verbo. Gabriel. Tell me a sentence with where. A question with where. Uh, where? Where? Uh huh. Where? Where are we? Where? Okay, ocupemos you para que no confundamos ahorita. Where, where are, are you? Are, where are you reading? Where are you reading? The book. Where are you reading the book? Tomorrow. Where? Tomorrow, okay. Where are you reading the book tomorrow? Okay, very good. Now tell me another sentence here with which, Carmen. Which, which what? Here you need to mention the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, which, which book? Uh -huh. Which book are you reading now? Which book are you reading now? Very good. Which book are you reading now? Excellent. Now, tell me another question here with why, Josue. Josue, Josue, Josue. No? Sandra? Angie? Why? Why, uh-huh, why? Uh -huh. Use the structure. Use the structure that is arriba. Why? ¿Cuál es la forma del verb to be que estamos utilizando, Sandra? What is the Why? form of verb to be? Why limo limone? ¿Por qué limone? Estamos usando el verbo read. Mm. Ah. Okay, con el mismo verbo. Yes. Wait, uh, mm. Yes, Alexis. Wait. Puedo apoyar. Yes, of course. Eh, <laughs> we. Why? Why is she? Why is she uh, reading reading a book? Uh, at night. Okay, at night. Okay, at night. Why is she reading a book at night? Okay, very good. Excellent example, Alexis. Let's continue with how. How, Asalia? How? 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 Are? How? Okay, how are? How are? Are they they mm. 
playing? Why playing? We're using reading. We are play. using reading. Reading? Take reading? How are they reading? Uh huh. Um, how are they reading? Reading what? Reading a park. Mm -hmm. How park. are they reading in the park? Okay. How in the are park. they reading in the park? That is weird. Okay. How are they reading in the park? Very good. When? Angie. Uh, when are you reading in... When? The... One more time. When? When are you reading um, reading in the book? When are you reading the book? Very good. When are you reading the book? Excellent. And let's go with who. Please tell me, Ana Gabriela, who? Who are you reading? Who are you reading? Who are you reading? Reading what? Who are you reading in the office? Who are you reading in the office with? Okay, from Ken. Who are you reading in the office with? Very good, very good. Look at these questions, okay? We have created, well, you created, usted la crearon, you know. You created all seven questions using one verb, right? One verb and one tense, present progressive, okay? Now, all of these questions, they may have an answer, right? So I can ask you right now, Sandra, what are you reading right now? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? What are you reading right now? I am reading an, an English book. I am reading an English book. Excellent. I am reading an English book. The answer? I am reading. I am reading. Oh, Jesus. I am reading an English book right now. Right? Very good. I am English a uh, reading book right now. Now we have this. What about number two? Where are you reading the book tomorrow? Where are you reading the book tomorrow? What's a possible answer? In my office. Okay, give me a complete answer. I read in, I read in a book in my office. Okay, I am reading a book or the book, the book, my office tomorrow. Very good. We have there the answer. Let's see with number three. Gabriela, which book are you reading? Which book are you reading, Gabriela? Gabriela, remember options. Which book are you reading? Oh, no está Gabriela. Okay. Concepción, which book are you reading? I am reading the book. Um, which book? Remember options, options, options. 
So, which book are, are you reading? reading? Uh -huh. I am reading. Which, which is the um, what? what? I am reading the book. Um, poesia or English. I'm reading a poems book, okay? A poems book. I'm reading a poems book. Very good. Very good. So, now, why is she reading a book at night? Why is she reading a book at night, Carmen? She is reading a book right now because she wants. <laughs> She's reading a book right now because, es la razón, she wants to. She wants to. Very good. Very good, Carmen. Now. Can Let's, be she wants to do it or she wants to. Yeah, it can be both. She okay. wants to do it or she wants to. She likes books. Mm -hmm. How are they reading in the park? How are they reading in the park? Crazy. Gabriel? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Digo. Yes. Yes. Yes, sorry. Uh, they are. Mm -hmm. Reading in the park. Okay, they are. But how? Because. Eh, the. No sé cómo decir. El clima es because the weather is nice. It's a nice weather, right? Because the weather is nice. This question, sorry. This question, listen to me. This question no es una razón, okay? It's a manner, okay? Están preguntando cómo es que están leyendo en el parque? How are they reading in the park? Oh, they are reading in the park because the weather is nice. Así es como ellos están leyendo. Están leyendo ahí porque está, el clima está bonito. Right? That's what we want to say. Very good, Gabriel. Very good answer. When are you reading the book? When are you reading the book, Alexis? Uh, you are? I am. Ah, uh, perdón. I am. Mm -hmm. Ready. Reading. 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 The book. Um, I am uh, reading the book. Tell me, you know, what to say. You must have read the book. Um, um, when? ¿Qué le quiero preguntar con el tiempo? Con, con when. Quiero tonight. preguntar tiempo. Yeah. I am reading the book tonight. tonight. Very good. Tonight. I am reading the book tonight. Tonight. El tiempo es. Yes. Me Who? confundí. Me confundí. Me confundí. Who are you reading in the office with? Who are you reading in the office with? Luis Armando. Who are you reading in the office with? Soy Fitcher. Transporte. Ok, Luis. Eh, Dana Gabriela. Yes, Carmen. Teacher. In this case, who be who is reading in the office? Only the question. Who is reading in the office? That is another question. Yes, eso sería uh, otro. Ese es otro ejemplo, otra pregunta que tendría. Otra respuesta. Okay. Está bien. Who is reading in the office? Carmen is reading in the office. I'm, this... uh, mm -hmm. 
Teacher, la respuesta puede ser I'm reading with my boss. I am reading in the office with my boss. With. Excellent. With my boss. Very good. Very good. Now, look at what we just did. Okay? We just created questions and answers. We use present progressive. And we only use one word. Eso solo es un verbo, right? Eso solo es un verbo. Now, what I want you to do right now is just take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Teacher, yes? y, y en when puede ser I am reading the book 30 minutes, por ejemplo. O no se puede hacer. In 30 minutes. I am reading the book in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. En 30 okay. minutos. Ya lo voy a hacer ahorita, ahorita. Pero siempre mm -hmm. va a usar el presente. Y está usando el presente progresivo. Como futuro, ¿ok? Como futuro. Okay. Very good, Leita. Okay. Yes? Yes, Andrita? Eh, who are you reading in the office? ¿Puede terminar ahí la oración o necesita el with? Tiene que utilizar with. Who are you reading in the office with? A menos que usted haga la pregunta como la que hizo Carmen, que hizo, who is reading in the office? ¿Quién está leyendo en la oficina? ¿Quién está leyendo en la oficina? ¿Quién ahí está sí no la lleva. Who is, who is who? Uh -huh. In that case, who is reading in the office with you? Who is reading in the office? Okay. Yes. Now, I want you Thank to take you. a screenshot. You're welcome. Take a screenshot. ¿Ya tomaron un screenshot? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Porque lo voy a borrar. Lo voy a borrar. Yes, teacher. Now that we have this, we're going to do exactly the same. Ustedes van a hacer el mismo ejercicio. Okay? El mismo ejercicio. <laughs> with the seven questions. Okay? With the seven questions. And you are going to have different verbs. All of you are going to have different verbs right now. So I am going to put you in rooms. Right? To spare. Dígame. To spare. ¿Ah? Cogemos un verbo o cualquiera. Yo se lo voy a dar ahorita. Ahorita sí. mismo. Aquí tengo un montón de verbos, no se preocupe. Now, let me, let me get my notes. Ok. Luis Armando, en Ricardo, Gabriel. Luis, en yes. Ricardo. You go with the verb work. Work. Okay. okay. Le Leida and Sandra. Leida and Sandra. You go with the verb eat. Okay. Eat. Leida and Sandra. Asalia and Maria Concepcion. Asalia en Concepción, you go with the verb study. Study. Ana Gabriela en Pedrina, you go with the verb play. Play. Ángela en Farm, siempre quedan juntas ustedes. Bien. <laughs> Angie and Carmen, que me la han hecho soon. Angie and Carmen, you are going to work with the verb write. 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 Okay. Ah, escribir. It. Okay. Write. Alexis and Celia, you are going to work with the verb. Let me see. Uy, se me olvidaron los verbos. Ya ven que se olvidan los verbos, hay que practicar. You are going to work with the verb. With the verb go. Go. Okay. Now, you hear. No, eh, Alexis and Celia. 
change it. We're going to work with the verb cook. Cook. Cocinar. Cook. Ah, cook. 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 Se coca. C O O K. Ok. C O O K. Cocinar. Yes. And Daniel and Juan Josué. Daniel and Josué, you are going to work with the verb. With the with the verb. With the verb. I don't know. With the verb watch. Watch. Observe. Observe. Okay, watch. Now, we have our breakout rooms ready, right? We have our breakout rooms ready, and we are going to work right now. We're going to have 12 minutes. Vamos a tener 12 minutos para trabajar. Yo creo que es suficiente. Para crear preguntas y respuestas. Ok. Van a ser prácticamente la misma tabla que hicimos juntos. La van a hacer, a hacer ustedes en equipo. ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Ok. Ok. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Vamos. 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 Luis Armando, select your group. Luis Armando. And I think you have to work alone. Or yes. Would you, because, or would you like me to put you with another group? Because Luis Armando is in transportation. Está en el, Pero, en el, en el camino. Yo lo estoy trabajando. Si quieres, me trabajar solo. Ok, ok. If you, if you have a question, let me know, ok? Me puede escribir rapidito. Porque está en el transporte ahorita, va para el trabajo. Ok. Nice. Nice. Yes. Entonces empezaríamos. Do you have any questions? Eh, vamos empezando, así que ahorita no. <laughs> Una pregunta, ¿me escuchan bien ustedes? Se escucha como bien, pero no sé. Está lloviendo. Está lloviendo. Ah, ah, pues, ah, eso. Por eso quería saber, estar seguro. Ok, ahí sí está lloviendo. Está lloviendo fuerte. Ah, pues mejor va a dormir rico, Tich. Ok, sí, una moment. Nos quedamos entonces con What are you studying in the week? En la semana. Do you have any questions? So, solo que vamos a cambiar el complement, teacher. ¿Podemos okay. cambiarlo? Sí. Ustedes la van a crear con su verbo. ¿Qué verbo les correspondía? Study. Ah. Study, okay. Very good. Trabajamos con study. Yo aquí voy a estar escuchándolos. Okay. Studying. Tell me if you have the, any questions. But are you studying in the week? Or the week? In the week.
I am. La respuesta sería I am. I am studying. I am studying. In the week. In the class. O siempre la misma, la misma respuesta. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? In the week. I am starting in the weekend. Yeah. Yes? Yes. We are. Este, ay, ay, en, el, en el ejemplo se presta porque. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, no, porque como dice que el libro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Va a leerlo. Paso el libro para allá. Which book are you reading now? Ajá. Uh -huh. Which. Do you have any questions? Yes, sí. teacher. Estamos un poco confundidas con la pregunta 3. A nosotros nos tocó lo que es el, el verbo jugar, ¿verdad? Play. El, play. Play, ajá. Entonces no hayamos cómo poner ahí en el wish. Eh, la, hacer la opción 3 de which, con which, ajá. Ah, ya. Yeah. ¿Qué, ¿Qué se puede jugar? ¿Qué puedes jugar? Uh, ah. I'm playing basketball, tennis. Okay. ¿Y cuáles son los dos? ¿Qué son esos? ¿Basketball, tennis? ¿Qué son esos? Eh, deport, eh, deportes. Ajá, deportes. Okay. They are de sports. Entonces sería which, pero deportes en inglés. Es sport. Es sport, pero which es sport. Es sport. Words, eh, are you playing no, verdad? Yes, excellent. Which mm. sports are you playing? Ya ven, está bien. Very good. Are you, are you ah. playing o tiene que ser are you playing no? Puedo usar are you playing now to be more specific. Ah, Para okay. ser más específica puedo utilizar now. Ah, mm. okay. Sí, pero lo podemos dejar hasta playing también. Exacto. Which sports mm -hmm. are you playing? Entonces la respuesta sería, I'm playing, I'm playing I am, tennis. I am playing tennis, yes. Excelente. Any other question? I am. Um, no more questions? No more teachers. No okay. I Thank see you in a moment. You're welcome. Tennis. Okay. With. <clears throat> With. With, with, uh -huh. okay. We have to, we have to answer it. Are you sure? Yes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you, what are you writing now? Uh, yeah. Just done, <clears throat> Yes. Uh, now we have to answer. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am writing. <laughs> I am writing a cooking recipe. Ah, el a siete. No, the number one is the answer. I am writing a cooking recipe. What are you writing now? Uh, ah, ajá. I am writing a cooking recipe. I am writing a cooking recipe. I am writing a cooking recipe. A cooking recipe. Any questions? Or recet? Recet. Which recet are you cooking? Como receta. Recipe. Es que estamos en el wish apenas, pero estamos viendo que es como que qué opciones, por ejemplo, si nosotros es cocinar, nuestro cocinar? verbo. 
Ajá, pero, Ajá, el verbo, entonces... pero, pero el verbo va después. Entonces, primero está hablando del libro. Entonces, tendría que hacer de algo que, que se va a cocinar. Como podría ser which eh, spaghetti. Creo que sí se dice spaghetti. Eh, are you cooking? Ok, pero si... No sé si está <risa> bien. Dígame, dígame su... su, su... Su pregunta, Alexis, y usted me dice su, su uh, pregunta, Celia, también. Ok. Ah, vaya. Ajá. Yo, yo, yo pienso que podría ser, which eh, spaghetti are you cooking? Uh, okay. Utilizando el mismo, la misma. Vaya. Solo dígame la pregunta. No me la explique. Dígame la pregunta. Ah, ok, ok. Vaya. What, which spaghetti are, are you eh, cooking. Ok. Entonces ahí usted va a recibir una respuesta que le va a decir pama o qué espagueti está cocinando. Ah. Ajá. Entonces usted quiere saber, por ejemplo, which food are you cooking? I am cooking spaghetti. I am cooking chicken. I am cooking uh, pasta. I am cooking lasaña. Si usted dice, which spaghetti are you cooking? Va a recibir las respuestas de qué tipo de espagueti están cocinando. Como la marca, por decirlo así. Por la marca, o le va a decir, um, uh, I don't know the names of the spaghetti, pero hay bastantes mm. tipos de espagueti. Sí, pero, ¿Okay? pero, podría, pero podría hacerse así la pregunta. Podría ser, which snack are you cooking? Which snack are you cooking? cooking? También podría ser así. Which mm. snack are you cooking? Which spaghetti are you cooking? Which... Uh, Food are you cooking? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia el espagueti? Espagueti. 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 Es, espagueti. No. Es, no. Spaghetti. ¿Cómo, cómo? Spaghetti. La spaghetti. Es, es, no va a decir es, va a decir spaghetti. Diga Silvia. Spaghetti. No, diga Silvia. 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 Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, exacto. No, no decimos espagueti. Sino Ajá, que... no. Solo es como la... La pronunciación de la Ajá. letra S. Spaghetti. Exacto. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Ah, spaghetti. Ok, ok, ok. Very good. Va. Pues ¿Te vamos, queda va, entonces, un minuto? ¿Cómo, cómo, lo vamos ah. a, ¿Cómo lo vamos a dar, compañera? Snack, más fácil. Vaya, pues. Eh, la respuesta not... sería un sándwich. Snack. I am cooking a sandwich. Ajá. Ajá. Cooking a sandwich. Hi, right. do we have any questions? Hi, teacher. No. Hello, did you finish? No, teacher. No yet? Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta, no, Josué, no. América? No, teacher. ¿No preguntas? Yes. Yo creería que no, Ticha. ¿Usted creería que no? ¿Y si está seguro? <risa> ok, ok. I see you in sí. a moment, ¿ok? Sí, lo Terminé estamos haciendo sobre el verbo, ¿verdad? De mirar, ¿Sí? el watch, watch, y que estamos viendo una película. Ok, ok, very good. ¿Y en, en which qué pusieron? Which. Si es de película, ¿cómo le va, cómo crear una pregunta? Which series are you watching? Yes, that is correct. Which series are you watching? I am watching The Vikings, for example. Very good, okay. Jose. Or which movie are you watching? También se puede utilizar. Muy bien, muy bueno. Okay, I see you in a moment. Hi, Gabriel. Do Hola. You have... Hola. <laughs> Do you have any questions? <laughs> eh, no, teacher. No, si tengo alguna va, la va a ver cuando diga los ejercicios, pero I'm finished. You finished, okay, very good. What, what did you put on which? Which, eh, okay. Is which plan are you working tomorrow? Which plan eh, are you working? And la respuesta, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Respuesta. The answer. Uh, the answer is I'm working on marketing plan tomorrow. I am working on the market on the marketing plan. 
On the marketing, ok. Sí, porque ya es una opción, ya es específico. On the okay. marketing plan tomorrow. Nice. Ok, very good. So, I think we should go with the others. Vamos a cerrar ya, the greater one. I see you in a moment. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hello. ¿Qué pasó? Ya se fue la teacher. Ah, ahí está. Hello. Qué galante, no sé. Hello. Teacher, for example, when you say, I am writing my book on Friday. On Friday without S or with S? Without on Friday. S. Without. Without S. Okay. Uh -huh. Unless you want to say on Friday's night. Uh, on Friday's night. Uh, or okay. On a Friday's night. On a Friday's night. Cualquiera de las dos. Sí, porque ya puede estar positivo de la noche del sábado. Okay. Y si quiere ponerlo como plural, tendría que decir every Friday. Every Friday. Uh -huh. Okay. Pero ya no sería oh. progresivo, ya sería simple person. Ok. Ok, how was the exercise? How was the exercise? ¿Cómo estuvo el ejercicio? Very nice. Very nice. Difficult. 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 Enjoy the activity. Enjoy the activity. Ok, very good. That's the use of the WH questions. Ese es el uso de las WH questions. Nos quedan dos minutos. Ok, no las vamos a poder compartir hoy. Las vamos a compartir mañana, ¿ok? Con los demás, por ejemplo, Carmen, que trabajó con Angie, ya no puede trabajar con Angie, va a trabajar con otra persona para compartir los tipos de respuestas y preguntas que crean. Recuérdense que son preguntas y, y respuestas, respuestas, ¿ok? Preguntas y respuestas. Antes que pasemos a la asistencia, recuérdense también que tenemos que completar eh, las actividades de la plataforma, por favor. Hay actividades, tengo a dos personitas, que no me han completado nada de la plataforma. Necesito que me lo hagan porque se van a quedar sin mí. Domingo, sí. ¿Sandra? Teacher. Yo solo he dejado la first. La first, ok, very good. Pero, pero ¿por qué? Allí me parece que hay que completar según el, el ejercicio que usted hizo el primer día, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ese es el mismo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál? ¿El, el, el, el ejercicio? El que se hizo el lunes, creo. Ah, sí, el de la discusión. Ajá. Sí, ese también. Uh -huh. ah, pues este es el que me falta, el primero nada más. Vamos. Ok. Yo, yo, Voy y avanzar. Las, también. Voy a avanzar. Ok, perfecto. Entonces sí, tenemos sí. que avanzar en eso, por favor, para no estar el sábado en la tarde, o porque ya sé que ya quieren descansar este día, Entonces hay que completarlo durante la semana. Ahora, sigo con la asistencia y luego me quedo con... Today is jueves 18, with Celia has me in the castle. ¿Ok? Si no se queda Celia, eh, alguien más se puede quedar, no hay ningún problema. Let me call the attendance. We have here Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Okay. Por favor, encenden sus camaritas para la asistencia. Thank you very much. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Carmen Lisette Hernández Escobar. Present. Silvia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Suerto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, teacher. María Concepción Cerón Joven. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. 
Present. Ricardo Gabriel Parenga Ventura. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Mendes de Barahona. Ricardo Tiche. Jennifer Abidail Lopez Espo. Okay. Very well. So we are going to finish here. Nice to see you today. Have a beautiful night and see you tomorrow at 8. No se metan tan tarde Bye. la clase. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Josué, le mandé un mensaje, Josué, porque no está en el chat de WhatsApp. Ok, teacher. Ok. <laughs> Nada hecho. Josué, por favor. Ok. Now, I am going to stay with. Celia, hi Celia. Hi teacher, la iba a molestar con refuerzo del presente simple y y, ¿Y? y fue la clase que falté y sí me costó como entenderlo. <risa> del presente simple y qué me dijo, creo que se le cortó. Si gusta apague la cámara para que. Al presente progresivo. Presente Bye. simple y presente Presente simple, sí. Ok, ok. Presente simple, Silvia. Lo que vamos a hacer con el presente simple, déjenme ver acá. Déjenme ver. Vaya, el que vimos hoy es el presente progresivo. Ayer estuvo en la clase. Sí, solo falta el martes. Ok, perfecto. La clase del marco. Déjenme un momentico. Disculpa el ruido que está lloviendo súper fuerte en mi casa. Ajá, sí, así pronosticaron lluvia y fueron... Pero no tanto, ¿verdad? Está lloviendo con ruido. Ok. Sí. Le enseño acá, eh, Estilia, el presente progresivo. Tenemos dos usos que estamos tomando okay. del presente progresivo. El presente progresivo, el primero es que usamos el uso cuando estamos hablando en el momento o cuando estamos realizando la, la acción. Por ejemplo, I am speaking English at this moment. Estilia okay. okay. is listening to me. Esas son dos actividades que están pasando en el momento que estamos viviendo, ¿sí? ahora, ahorita, como decimos los salvadoreños. Entonces, ese es el primer uso del presente continuo. El siguiente uso del presente continuo es, es cuando lo utilizamos para planes a futuro. O cuando hacemos cosas, por ejemplo, que es, ah, yo quiero ir a la playa, voy a ir a la playa el, el, el sábado, ¿ok? I am going to the beach on Sunday. Entonces, pero usted ya planificó que va a realizar esa actividad. Usted ya pensó que okay. la va a hacer. Entonces, puede también utilizar el presente progresivo. La fórmula del presente progresivo va a ser la misma. Para, la, para los dos usos. Va a ser subject plus verb plus verb with ing los nombres. Esa es la, la fórmula que se utiliza. Subject, los verb, los verb with ing, los complement. Okay. Por ejemplo, ya si quieres escribir un ejemplo, Celia is writing a book Right now. Okay. Right now. Celia, subject, verb is yes. writing, or with ing, the complement a book right now. Okay. Entonces, ahí okay. es cuando nosotros estamos utilizando el, el presente progresivo. ¿Cuál es el presente, el simple present y el, el presente continuo? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Que tenemos dos usos del simple present. Ya sabemos que lo vamos a utilizar 
para cuando estamos hablando de cosas que hacemos como rutina diaria. Cosas que vamos a hacer siempre. ¿sí? O que hacemos a menudo. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I cook chicken every Monday. I cook chicken every Monday. Entonces, cuando yo digo, I cook chicken, aquí digamos, yo voy aquí, I cook chicken every Monday. Todos los lunes. Ajá. Todos los lunes. Es, fre sí, es algo frecuente, exacto. Entonces, ¿por qué? Cada lunes va a, va a ver usted a, a la Silvia cocinando pollo, ¿verdad? Right? Sí. Chicken every Monday. Entonces, hay palabras que utilizamos, no sé si re, se recuerda cuando vimos los adverbs of frequency. Sí. Ok, cuando vimos los adverbs of frequency, vimos, por ejemplo, always, usually, often. Eso, cuando usted vea esos adverbios, usted dice, ah, simple present. ¿Ok? Usted ve esos o ve frases como every Monday, every week, every Saturday. Es simple. Es simple present. Exacto. Exacto. Ya si quiero decir el próximo lunes, ya iría I am cooking. I am cooking. Chicken. Chicken. Next Monday. Next Monday, ok. Ajá, así sería. Exacto. Ya ven. Very good. Y así lo vamos a hacer. Todas las rutinas que hacemos, por ejemplo, cuando hablábamos en la semana 1 y en la semana 2, what do you do in your workplace? ¿Qué actividades hacen en el trabajo? I check my email, I check the reports, I check the sales um, information. Todo lo que hacemos a diario, eso se utiliza simple present. Ok. Simple present para todo. ¿Okay? Porque son actividades que hacemos diariamente. Una las hacemos una vez a la semana, dos veces a la semana, pero siempre pasan, son rutinas, son hábitos. Y la otra presente continuo para actividades que pasan al momento de estar hablando o para, para actividades que se han planificado. Ok. ¿Qué? Hoy sí, clarito. Sí. <risa> Hoy sí, ya. Ok, very good. Sí, es que yo, yo pensé que el continuo, como lo había entendido cuando metí en la clase, era como solo para... Lo, de, lo que va a pasar después, no lo había relacionado ahí, con oh. el... Ajá. Con lo que está pasando hoy. Oh, con okay. lo que está pasando, ajá, por eso ayer el ejercicio ayer sí me costó porque no entendía. <risa> no, pero sí, ajá. cuando no entienda, dígame y yo le, yo le ayudo o le explico así rapidito en la clase o por el chat para que vayamos, okay. vayamos avanzando. Ajá. ¿Alguna okay. otra pregunta, Dice. Sally? Por el momento esa era la única que tenía. Esa era la única. Vale. Lo demás perfecto. sí. Ahí va. Lo demás está bien. Vale, perfecto. Sí. Estoy practicando entonces, Silvia. Y la veo mañana entonces. A las 10. Sí. Bueno, a las Muchas gracias. A las 8. Yo me meto puntual. Gracias. Sí. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Silvia. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.